Welcome back to the Sunday Grill of Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III, and we're continuing in our study, in our verse-by-verse -verse study through the Gospel according to Matthew. We've reached the 21st chapter, moving right along, moving right along. Got my timer set, my highlighter, got my Bibles, King James Version, the New King James Version. We're ready to go, amen? Matthew chapter 21, verse 1. Now when they drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethage, Bethpage, at the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find donkeys tied in a colt with her. Loose them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord need, need of them, and immediately he will send them. Verse 4. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, lowly, sitting on a donkey, a colt, the, the foal of a donkey. So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. They brought the donkey and the colt and laid their clothes on them and set him on them. Verse 8. And a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road. Others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Verse 9. Then the multitudes who were before and those who followed cried out, Hosanna to, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. I highlighted that. And when he came, amen, verse 10, and when he had come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? So the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. Then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all those who brought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. So I want to I wanna mark this with a pen, put some eyeballs around it to bring note, and a dollar sign around that. Verse 13. He said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Amen. Definitely highlight. Then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. And when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things he did, the children crying out in the temple saying, Hosanna, the son of David. They were indignant and said to him, do you hear what they are saying? And Jesus said to them, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Verse 16 again. And they said to him, do you not, do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, yes. Have you not read? Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have perfected praise. Verse 17. Then he left them and went out of the city to Bethany and he lodged there. Now in the morning... As he returned to the city, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree by the road, he came to it and found nothing on it but leaves and said to it, Let no fruit grow on you ever again. Immediately the fig tree withered away. Verse 20. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled and saying, How did the fig tree wither away so soon? Verse 21. So Jesus answered and said to thee, Shortly I say to you, If you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done in the done to this fig tree but also if you say to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea it will be done I like verse 22 and whatever things you ask in prayer believing you will receive now when he came into the temple the chief priests and the elders of the people confronted him as he was teaching and said by what authority are you doing these things and who gave you this authority? Verse 24. But Jesus answered them and said, But Jesus answered and said to them, I also will ask you one thing. Which of you tell me? I likewise tell you, but Amen. Verse 24 again. But Jesus answered and said to them, I also will ask you one thing. Which of you tell me? I likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. Verse 25. 
the baptism of, of John, was it, where was it from? From heaven or from man? And they reasoned among themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? Verse 26. But if, I, if we say from men, we fear the multitude, for all count John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus and said, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. But what do you think? A man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. And he answered and said, I will not. But afterward he regretted it and went. Then he came to the second and said likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir. But he did, but he did not go. Which of the two did the will which of the two did the will of his father? And they said to him, The first. And Jesus said, Assuredly I say to you, that tax collectors and harlots entered the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him, but tax collectors and harlots believed him. When you saw it, you did not afterward relent and believe him. Verse 33. Hear another parable. There was a certain landowner who planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. And he leased it to the vine dressers and went into a far country. Now, when the vintage time drew near, he drew his servants to the vineyard dressers that they might receive its fruit. And the vine dressers took his servants, beat one, killed one, and stoned the another. Verse 36. Again he said other servants more than the first, and they did likewise to them. Then last of all, he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the vine dressers saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and seize his inheritance. So they took him, cast him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Therefore, the owner of the vineyard comes. What will he do to those vine dressers? Verse 41. They said to him, he will destroy those wicked men miserably and lease his vineyard to another vine, vine dressers, to other vine dressers who will render to him the fruit in their season. Jesus said to them, have you never read the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken from you and given to a nation bearing the fruits of it. I like. And whoever falls on this stone will be broken, but whoever it falls, it will grind him to powder. Verse 45. Now when the chief priests and Pharisees heard these parables, they perceived that he was speaking of them. But they sought to lay hands on him. They feared the multitudes because they took him, him for a prophet. Amen. And that concludes the 21st chapter in the gospel according to Matthew. Jesus, Jesus doing what he does. Amen. Preaching the word. God bless you.